How about over here? Yeah. Um, first off, I want to say thank you guys for making the tough decisions that may have been unpopular but are towards the goal of winning a World Series. I appreciate that. I got a question for um, Randy and Jim and then one for Crane. Um, what was the decision to get Bradley as far as over Ibanez or over, say, um, Bobby Abreu? What was the thought process that went on there? Crane, for you, quick question. Um, you're a very smart man. You didn't get to where you were by not being smart. You also talked about not believing in curses, yet the Greek Orthodox priest comes out of there, and that was kind of embarrassing, I think, to, on a national scale. Now, I know that you, I don't think you would have done that on your own. I know a documentary was being shot last year, no. and were the producers, did they ask anything as far as, would you do this, or would this be great for the documentary, or anything to that? So I'll let you guys answer. Let me do the, let me do the last one first. So that, that's one of the dumber things we've done, right? Um, <laughs> <laughs> and, and in my six years of decisions, that's, that's probably maybe two or three in the, of the dumb things we've done. Um, and no, this, it had nothing to do with the documentary. It wasn't uh, somebody saying, well, we, let's try and do something spicy. This was it, 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 along the lines of, of making decisions quickly, and you shouldn't do that in life. You know, an email comes in that this is a huge Cub fan that wants to get tickets to the game and has the cell phone ringing with the Cubs tune on it. And, his email address, and I said, let's bring it, let, let him go, let, let, just be clear. That decision was at my desk. N nobody had any influence on that one. And I said, let him in. He wanted to say a blessing for our good health, which we had good health, but, but the results made us sick. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, so no, it, it was nothing more than let, let's let some, one of our fans in, and he wanted to come in six hours before the game and just uh, hopefully give us some good health, and I said, fine. If I could do it again, I wouldn't have. Um, no question about it, but it, it had nothing to do with, it got blown into a bunch of different things and it's, it's, uh, you know, it's one of those things you look back on and you say, how did you make that decision? It, clearly not one of my best in the last six years. The Milton Bradley decision, uh, as we went into the off season, um, we looked at it and we, we, we felt like we had two clear priorities. Number one, we felt it was imperative that we re-sign Ryan Dempster and we were happy to get that done early on in the process. And the other thing, that we've talked about a lot is that we really wanted to try to increase our, our flexibility in the lineup, our, our ability to match up left-handed and right-handed. And as we started evaluating who might be available, not only through free agency, but through trades, and we started doing our homework and meeting with all of our scouts, uh, they're a huge part of the process and doing our background work. The, the thing that we kept uh, coming back to was over and over we kept hearing about Milton Bradley and more and more people kept saying he gives you the best at bat day after day in the American League. Deep counts, sees pitches, does a lot of the things that we stress to our players, a lot of the things that Fukudomi brought to the ball club last year in the first half of the season and that we think he's going to get back to doing. That's it. How about a nice hand for Crane Kenny, Jim Henry, Randy Bush, and thank you.